Hey, I'm Jose Perez. Uh, I'm playing the master. I got involved in the web series because uh, Zane approached me with uh, just participating in uh, his Doctor Who series he was planning. And uh, my first role was the Dream Lord in the episode of Doctor's Dream. And it was a lot of fun. It was just one episode that was like, the, it's a prequel to series one. And it, it was one and done, and that was it. Um, but then I was brought back along for series one to play another small role, it was Jackson. Um, I would say it's totally, it was totally worth getting involved because I had a lot of fun doing it and I love Doctor Who and now I got to play the master so it completely paid off. That was my grandmaster plan was just to play the master and now here I am. I met Zane, uh, the showrunner, uh, in one of our production classes here at Columbia and we, we talked, I, I, got a, I helped him out with a documentary he was making about Batman and he approached me about working on this Doctor Who series um, he was working on. And of course I agreed, because I trusted Zane. Zane's a pretty good guy. And I thought, it was, I thought it was just a fun thing to do. And working with him, working with Zane is awesome. I love Zane. Zane's great. He's very calm, he's nice, he's polite, he knows what he's doing. Uh, and I like that he's very hands-on and everything. And he writes, he produces, he, he does the whole shebang. And well, I am merely the talent. I just act. I carry the show, obviously. Working with Zane on set, um, he has a pretty good idea of what he wants. So, and, but I like that he's very open to what your someone's input is, and shooting on the fl it's almost like shooting on the fly, and it feels very natural to me, at least to me. Um, and I kind of like that sort of style, and it just produces a really good environment to act and to just work on set. So I'm playing the master now, and yes, I'm super excited because I love the master. I love villains, who doesn't love villains, right? I love villains, and the master's just a great Doctor Who villain. Um, and definitely underused recently, well up until recently he was a little underused. And um, yeah, I'm super excited to be playing him. Comparing this role to the other two roles I had, which was much smaller, and like, they were both villainous roles, so they kind of compare, but in another way, they don't compare at all. Just because the master is just so much more. He's so much more of a threat. So I have to bring a certain kind of menace and authority to it, to the role that I did with prior roles. Because um, they were villainous roles, and they were a lot of fun, but the master's like a, just a, a meteor kind of role, so to take that on is exciting. So far in the just shooting, helping shoot the series, uh, probably one of my favorite moments was as the Dream Lord, I got to interact a lot with two doctors, and that's fun, and just bouncing off both Zane and Jim, who played the 11th and 10th in that episode. And, and Connor plays the 12th. I didn't forget you, Connor. Um, it, it's just a lot of fun bouncing on being able to play off these three people. They're just funny and, and just good at what they do. Uh, the Master just brings up a lot of opportunities and a lot of chances just to do fun stuff with him. Uh, I'm super excited to see where his story is going to go and what I can bring to this role because it's such a, it's such a, like a, several pretty good actors have taken on the role. Um, and they all bring something different to it. So it's kind of hard when you have an established character like that to try to bring something new to it. So I'm excited just seeing what that process is going to be like and what kind of tone we're going to set, both in terms of writing and just acting that particular role. With previous characters, uh, I couldn't think too much to add there of what I would want him to do that I couldn't, wasn't able to do because they were smaller roles, but perhaps maybe it was just the, the want to have like a bigger and more expansive role um, and just be like a real threat. And the Dream Lord is definitely like a threat and he definitely holds his own, 
Uh, but my related role, Jackson, is uh, he's just a minion. He's just a minion. Not much to him. It, he just does what he's told. Um, so there's not a lot of room there for to have a whole lot of fun with that character. You can have fun in one way, but not in other characteristic ways. But the master, uh, I'm really excited to play him because I, I, I can't wait to work with Zane and just figure out what this version of the master is like. And that's very exciting to me when you have like a character you just want to build up and live up to a certain legacy. Um, I just want to have fun with him. I just really, I, if I could have him dance, like if his thing was dancing, I would totally have his thing be dancing. Because I want a, a master who's like a, a little more uh, unhinged. He's like a little, he's, he's, he, like he's very vindictive. So like little things kind of set him off. Or he's like a little OCD about things. Like those are like little characteristics I would want to add to full out, uh, to complete a picture of him. Um, and just have him look like he's having fun, like he's mad, <laughs> like he loves doing that. So that, that's an aspect that I would love because my other characters were, um, weren't allowed. As characters, I'm, ha I'm having fun as an actor, but like as characters, they don't, they don't necessarily enjoy what they're doing. They just kind of do, they were ordered to, and they have like a specific motive. But the master, it's, he, he tends to like, you know, I don't know where I'm going. I forgot the <laughs> word I was looking for, but there you go. So during the series one arc, uh, the doctor is going through a lot of trials and tribulations. He's, it's kind of like the twelfth task of Hercules kind of thing. He's facing like all these enemies uh, who were all sent and networked by like this shadowy guy, um, and it's an interesting arc just because of the reveal of uh, Kitty's character. She that that's probably the big twist. It's like kind of almost heartbreaking. And like, you know, oh, my companion isn't who I thought it was. And that's like, for a Doctor Who person, you're like, what? And Jackson, in that whole network, he's, he's like a, he's just in the gear, in the clock. Um, he's, but he's also kind of like keeping tabs on people. Almost like a, like kind of, I think of it like a, a shield agent. Like in the MCU, you have Nick Fury, and then you have Coulson. I'm kind of like a Coulson. I am like a lesser Coulson. Um, so that, that's kind of his role in there. He's just keeping tabs and making sure uh, everything's fine. He's like the office worker who's like <laughs> making sure everyone puts it in the correct middle folder. Um, and just another pawn in this bigger game uh, that everyone else is playing. Some of my favorite Series 1 episodes are, I really like the prequel, which is the episode I'm in. Um, the Doctor's Dream is a great episode. I, I like that episode. Uh, not just because I'm in it, I'm not my favorite thing in there. My favorite thing in there is the, the three doctors, because crossover episodes are always fun. And even though it's like the same guy, it's like three variations of the same personality, so it's like just interesting to see those three personalities play off each other. And I also really like the episode uh, Challenge of Death, which is where the doctor is dying and the companion uh, is genuinely worried and it's kind of like it, it, it brings in the idea of mortality and a vulnerable, vulnerable bit, uh, I can't say that word a mortality it brings up mortality to the doctor that we're not used to he's vulnerable and we're, we're not used to seeing that always and it just explores that aspect so I like that episode my favorite villain of the series besides me because it would be me but uh, I like Scott's performance of the Shadow Master. He's, he's just got a great voice, and whenever he's on camera, like, I can just buy it. Like, yeah, that's a bad guy. Not, not in any, like, bad way to Scott, but he just, he just knows how to play him, and he's just got a great voice, and you can just believe him. Like, yeah, that guy, that guy can do damage in a cerebral kind of way. One of my favorite onset stories, uh, me, and, me and Connor hit it off all the time. I love Connor. Connor's great. He plays the, the 12th Doctor in our series. And uh, while we were shooting the, the Doctor's Dream, uh, we, we shot in Grant Park, which is like this huge stretch of just park and, and trees and just a nice area. And segways. There's people on segways there. And it was during the summer, so it was like people on segways. And me and Connor just kept <laughs> noticing the segways. And we kept having this running joke about like, like the segway people. Like, 
the self like that. We should like, we should like attack them. <laughs> like a, like if it was like a tribe of sideways and just take their sideways. Cause it was a rightful, it was manifest destiny. And uh, yeah, <laughs> just, just a weird day. I don't know why, we were probably just tired. And we just like, yeah, sideways. Uh, you can expect me as a master uh, pretty soon. Uh, you'll, 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 you'll see me. Uh, and as for season three, uh, which is further down the line, but you know, uh, I don't want to confirm or deny it, but like, you know, the master always returns. It's just this thing. So, you know, keep a sharp eye out. Um, just keep watching, you'll find out.